Hi everyone, so Donald Trump is in the UK and he's done this interview with the, well exclusive interview rather, with the shittiest newspaper in the world, run by his best buddy, Rupert Murdoch. And then he said multiple things, and I'm, I'm covering them in, in other videos. This video, I'm going to concentrate on what he talks about with regards to the expenditure of NATO countries within Europe as compared to their GDP, because NATO countries, it is advised by NATO that they spend 2% of their GDP on defense, or weapons, missiles, planes, that sort of thing. Donald Trump was asked about this in this interview. Let's take a listen to what he says. On Britain's defense spending, uh, Jim Mattis wrote to his counterpart in, in the UK to say, it's no longer good enough for the UK to be spending just 2%. You're our major ally. You need to considerably increase it above 2%. Do you it, agree with that? I agree with that 100%. No. 2% is not enough. 2% uh, and some countries don't pay that. No. And yet the United States pays 4.2% mm. is the actual number, not 3.5%. It's 4.2% mm. of a much larger GDP. In fact, the GDP since I've taken over has doubled and tripled. Mm. So it's very, you know, it's a very uh, unfair number. Uh, no, I think uh, I'm very impressed that he sent that letter. I think that's an exact right letter. I think all the countries in Europe should pay 4%, not 2%. And many of them, like Germany, is only paying 1.1%. Mm. And so we protect Germany and they're only paying 1%, 1.1%. Mm. It's, you know, it's very unfair. <laughs> We've become so hyper-normalized to Donald Trump's lies that you probably, you might have missed a giant one that he, let, he said there. GDP under me has doubled or tripled, he said. Really? It's gone from 18 trillion to 54 trillion in 18 months, as it don't. Please. It's gone up about 10%, I think, and most of that is due to the stock market, which is all fugazi, fairy dust. It will, you know, that money isn't there. It's all a figment of your imagination. Um, it's a giant Ponzi scheme, the, uh, the Wall Street is, and it's going to crash, and it's going to take the poor with them, the rich will be fine. Um, Lee Camp has done some brilliant work on that uh, on Redacted tonight with an interview with one guy who's, who's looked at the military expenditure of America and he's found that it's huge. He's the guy that found the $21 trillion black hole in the Pentagon. Go and check it out. If you can find the link, I'll put it down below. What he's saying there in that video, though, um, is that EU countries are not spending enough on the military. Why is he doing that? Well, the US is one of the largest is the largest exporter of weapons and arms and military equipment in the world bar none by a long long way and the day before he was complaining to Angela Merkel and other countries uh, NATO countries within the EU that they weren't they had a one the US had a 151 billion dollar trade deficit what better way to cut that trade deficit down than to bully them into spending more on war. I've read the BBC on this, I've read The Guardian, the, the Times, The Independent, I've read a lot on this this morning and not a single outlet I can find have made that distinction. It's just bullying them into spending more on their military and ramping up this, this Russia scare to try and get more arms sold. And more arms exported from the US and to reduce the trade deficit. That's all it's there for. That's all he's there for. That's all he's trying to do. 4.2% he said that they're spending. I can't stress how massively over disproportionate that is. It's just 2%. To me, I think 2% is too much. I think a healthy economy, yeah, okay, get it up to 2%. If you've got a healthy economy and you're doing well, get it up to 2%, fine, do it. That would bring the, the US's yearly spending down to about 350, 400 billion. Most people will say, yeah, okay, that's far more reasonable than the trillion dollars we're spending plus at the moment on, you know, the 700 that we declare, 700 billion that we declare plus all the black sites and the stuff we don't tell you about. 350, 400 billion, most Americans will say, yeah, okay. The other 250, 300 billion. There's your healthcare. There's your free college. There's whatever else is on a progressive platform for you. Um, 
this is all it's try all he's trying to do he's trying to reduce the trade def deficit with the eu by getting more of their weapons sold because his country the united states is built upon war now that's it it's a war economy if they're not bombing they're doing it through sanctions sanctions are an actual act of war as well we need to wise up to this i think and our leaders need to stand up to them and say no to stand up to his bullying tactics and say no no the same way countries in south america do no that's what we need to say to him no but what have we got we've got a weak and wobbly leader who holds his hand going up steps it's going well so far this visit is isn't it if you enjoyed this video please click the bell down there and subscribe um, so you get a notification of next time I drop a video also I can't do this without your help so if you can afford it and you enjoy my videos please support the channel by uh, subscribing to my patreon link is down there you can do it for as little as one dollar a month and it really does help if you can't afford it that's fine please share my work and talk to other people about uh, the issues that I bring up thanks very much for your support until next time Peace and take care.